All right, Greg, let's talk a little bit about Fruit Pour and what your ex expectations are for the uh, coming football season. Well, we have, uh, we're lucky to have some multi-year starters uh, in the lineup and, you know, on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. Uh, you know, great kids that have uh, loads of experience. And, um, you know, as always, we wish we had a few more of them, uh, but we do have some, some special kids. And so they'll make up the core of our, of our football team and really be our strength as we uh, navigate a pretty tough schedule here. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. Switching to the OK Black, that's a, that's a tough road to hoe there. What's your thoughts about that? Well, I think we've, we have uh, prepared over the last few years uh, with the addition of Grand Haven Week 1. Uh, you know, we played uh, DeWitt over the last six or seven years. Uh, we added St. John's a couple of years ago. We added Muskegon Catholic before they came into the league. So we feel like we've, we've had a, a concerted effort toward uh, moving toward the OK Black. Um, it's been on our radar for uh, three or four years now and, and really been something that we've, we've uh, you know, been looking forward to. Um, you know, a tough road to hoe is, is definitely a good way to put it. But I think that, you know, like any conference schedule or any, any uh, uh, regular season schedule, um, you know, you have challenges and you have games that uh, you go in and, and you should win. And uh, I think that, that those games present themselves from week one through week nine on, on our schedule this season. And to keep Spring Lakes, obviously, a big rivalry game, that's got you guys got to be feeling good that that's still a part of your schedule. Yeah, for sure. There, there's some nice and, and pretty cool things tied to that game uh, in, the, in the way of community, uh, you know, and, and specifically some community service uh, type projects. Uh, we play a charity game that week. Um, you know, we are excited to keep them on the schedule, both for the, it is a, it is a huge rivalry, that next door neighbor type thing. Um, and, you know, that, that kind of uh, area bragging rights and, you know, all of those things are tied to that, that particular game. Uh, we picked up Coopersville week one. Uh, somehow we got ourselves into a, a special game at uh, Grand Valley State University on August 27th. Uh, so, you know, we, we're, we're looking forward to the start of the season and really getting off on the right foot. Um, we feel like we, you know, we've put ourselves in a position in the offseason to do that.